right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21. How would you feel if you grinded all day and damn near half the night to get a 129 game win streak and it got knocked off by one move and one move on? We're going to get into that right after this. If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. Let's get right into it. And man, look, man, I'm watching Glidey's stream. I want y'all to see something, man. Look at this. 21 hours and 55 minutes. This young man has been grinding, grinding. He's like, I'm gonna get this legend. He was 88% to legend when we, when this stream started. He's 98% to legend right now. He's getting a, a, a crazy 10% a day. He might already hit legend, you know, um, you know, from from what what I understand. But look, man, like like I said, I was watching this video and. Uh, you know, I was watching him play live, and uh, I'm sitting here watching, and he's amassed a hell of a streak. I'm not even going to lie to you. And then this young man, Post Hooking, comes on, and everything just went straight down. Now, I understand what people are going to say. Jay, it's the shot stick that's doing... No, 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 my friend. The shot stick has nothing to do with this. People been getting their streaks broken by post scores. Somebody tell me if I'm lying down in the comment section, what was the most common streak breaking, I'm pulling up to break your streak duo in the history of NBA 2K ever since, well, you know, let's say since 19. I, I ain't even gonna wait, I'm gonna tell you. A post score and a lockdown. People come with a pure lock and a post score because they knew there was nothing that you could do about it. You can't do anything about the post fades. You can do very, you can't do anything about the post hooks or, and sometimes you can't guard it, but it, there's very little that you can do without committing all your resources to jumping in the guy's face. And then that still might not work. And then when, it, when, when you do that, what happens? They're going to get the board, give it back to them, automatic too. It is what it is. People act like people haven't been going 11 for 11 using post scores to, uh, to cheese the game and to get people up out of here, especially on streets and especially on stuff like this. My boy Paul, uh, I, I, I started playing with Paul maybe three years ago, four years ago, 2K18, so 18, 19, 20, 21. Four years ago, I started playing with Paul. He had a post scoring finisher, uh, post scoring slasher, post scoring, you know, finisher on, on 18. He said, this is the bill that I make every year. Paul, why you make this bill every year? Because it gets me VC. How you make VC? He said, well, I just come out here, I get him up to like an 80 or 85 right there, just get the essential stuff on him. And I will I will go to the 1v1 stage and I will sit there and post hook people to death, post, post fade people to death, spin off people to death, do all of this stuff and just kill people. And ever since the advent of the post scoring uh, takeover, it's really been like this. Now I'm not gonna tell you that you can't stop a post score because you can. There's some things that you can do. You can try to get lucky with a quick spam. You can try to go at the outside hand, but all of it involves taking a gamble. You can't play straight up defense on a post score and beat them. Now somebody gonna claim I play I play straight up defense on post scores all the time and I stop them. Everybody's gonna say that in the comment section every time. I'm saying just show me some film. Look at this, he jumped right at him. Yes, you can do that right there. That's a good contest, but you can't do it every time and you can't do it often enough. And even if you do do it, you're not gonna out reap your, your guard is not, look, that's good defense again, 24%. But look, he go down low. He's right there on his hand. He literally spent through him and he scores the ball. The whole thing is your guard will never out, out rebound the lock, ever. Unless you got a lock or something like that. And then you can try to switch the guard onto him and try to not let him get in the post position and stuff like that. But good luck with that this year because there's really nothing you can do. And once you see him spin, like he could have gone up with that right there, and he did. But once you see him spin to that opposite hand and throw it, you know it is what it is. Now, I understand what a lot of people are going to say. 
Man, the post hook, you can't really stop the post hook anyway. It's really an unblockable shot. Yes, yes, yes. We know the history of the thing at the conclusion of the 1966 season, the NCAA, and all the hating ass people that hated Lou Alcindor, aka Kareem Abdul Jabbar, the man that will become one of the GOATs of the NBA. How can you be one of the GOATs? One of the greatest players to ever play the game and the all time leading scorer in NBA history. We know this. They outlawed dunking, citing that it wasn't a skillful shot. And because of this, you know, it really was because he was black and he was whooping too much ass. Okay, that's really what it was. You can't dunk, so it is what it is. And they still went on and had a, what, 118 game win streak out there in, uh, it, in NCAA, still one of the all time marks. He helped contribute to that. And all he ever did was win. This young man said, okay, I'll take it in stride. This is what I'm going to do. I'll create a shot that is not only skillful, but it's unblockable. We know this, but this is a video. I mean, and, and, and obviously the rest of it history, you, you can't you can't block the sky hook. You can't really block none of that stuff. And like I said, he all, he's still the all time leading scorer in league history for a reason, but come on, man, come on, man. It's a video game, man. You can't have something in a video game that cannot be defended. You can't have something in there that's indefensible. Like, I know a lot of people gonna say I know how to stop it. Yes, if you buy block boost and all this stuff, it does help you and you can do some other stuff. And, and like I said, most of the time, you can you can catch them before they go in the post position you can steal the ball. There are some things you can do. It does have some counters. I just feel like it don't have enough counters, especially on the contest front. Like, I can see if you're on that shoulder and now he spins to the left shoulder or something like that. I mean, you know, spins away from you, he's spinning away from, but bro, this man came out here and straight this man, and he knew he was gonna do it too, and then he waited till he got up to 129 wins and did the pettiest thing in the world, came out with a two-way fit, a two-way slashing finish or whatever you wanna call it, and he knew he was gonna end this man's streak. But like I said, people been in the streaks like this for years. It ain't got nothing to do with the shot stick. It just really has more to do with the fact that you cannot defend that move. Like the shot stick, whatever, it is what it is, man. You can play defense on people that use the shot stick. You can do that. We do it all the time. We see people come out there. We see people using the shot stick. All oh, let's use the shot stick. People play defense on us. People might be even cheating against us. But guess what? We don't give them open shots. And like I said, in gliding defense, they did. Look at that. He right there in his face. It's a bad shot. Come on, man. But look, in Gladys defense, they did play him on the threes against Fanta, and they got flooded because twos are not worth more than threes. And on the two, on the threes, you get the ball back and blah, blah, blah. This type of stuff ain't going to work. Right. But on this, you're not getting the ball back. Once they get the ball, it's a wrap. Like I said, I seen people pull up on time. Seen over this combination. Seeing people pull up on pool by seeing with this combination, anybody that's got a streak, this is how they normally come out there and break it. And 2K has to do something about it because you can't continue to have an indefensible move in the game and somebody can just come out there and do whatever they want. To, like they don't even have to have any skill or anything with it. All they got to do is just come out there and post hook you to death. Like I said, I, I get it. I do understand it, that we got to have something for everybody in the game. But y'all don't think that thing is OP? Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Is the post hook itself OP? Or is it the post hook combined with the shot stick that's OP? My opinion is it don't have anything to do with the shot stick because I've seen people getting their ass whipped with this combination before. And if you got a post score on your team, and oh my God, if you got a post score and a, and a shooter like Trey and Jay used to have, oh my God, it was nothing that you could do. You just, just lose to that. But I mean, they weren't even cheesing. Jay wasn't even cheesing. Neither one of them cheese. They just playing the game. But when people come out there and they got a lock to stop your guard and he's gonna manufacture a stop. And when they do that, you'll never get a rebound. And all you gotta do is throw post hooks the whole game because you really can't defend it. I, I don't know what you meant to do, man. Anyway, if y'all know how to defend the post hook, man, let me know down in the comment section. Like I said, shout out to Glady, man. I mean, he's about to be legend. We're going to do a story on that in the morning. Hopefully, he'll be legend by morning. Maybe he'll be the first legend. Maybe he won't. I don't know. We're going to holler at y'all next time. Let me know down in the comment section what y'all think. Is the post hook trash? Is the is this paint defense in, in general trash? Do they need to do something about that? Can we go into next gen this way? I feel like if we go into next gen like this, the game is 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 really going down a dark uh, going in a dark direction because it shows that they really didn't do anything other than build off of what they already had. And they said it was built from the ground up. I think it would really show that. So some type of revamped way to contest that, I think will be good. 
I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak! It don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't buying I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I could give a heart transplant to a giant I ain't lying, God speak We good